Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than two minutes. Simple, fast, and fun. Today we're talking about thymosin beta-4 or TB500 and its potential benefits. All this and more in less than two minutes. So last week we talked about thymosin alpha-1 and the importance of the thymus gland and T-cells. But before we get into what TB500 is and does, it's important to know that although it is naturally found in the thymus, TB500 is found in most cells and tissues except for red blood cells. So what exactly is thymosin beta-4? TB500 works by binding actin, which is proteins that make up about 10% of the total proteins in cells, which help with cell division, signaling, and the shape of cells. It also speeds up the rate of the formation of new tissue growth and new blood vessels. This helps wounds heal, and it also decreases inflammation and scarring when it's applied to wounds. So in the body, TB500 levels rise significantly in areas where tissues have been damaged, so these areas can be repaired. This is great for those looking to speed up injuries or wounds that are healing slowly, and it's also a good option for chronic injuries that don't seem to be healing fast. So what are the benefits of TB500? TB500 is used for clinical conditions where soft tissue repair, skin, hair growth, and chronic pain management is needed. It's also been used in people post-heart attack to help repair tissue damage and has been clinically shown to improve symptoms of moderate to severe dry eye. RGN259 by RegenRx Pharmaceuticals is a TB4-based eye drop for dry eye syndrome. It's currently in phase two trials in the United States. RGN352 is a TB4-based injectable drug for preventing and restoring tissue damage associated with heart attack and stroke. This medication is currently in phase two trials. So how do I take TB500? TB500 is given as a subcutaneous injection into the fatty tissue daily. It's suggested that this peptide be used no longer than 12 weeks and stopped for at least one month. Studies suggest that prolonged use could lead to dependency. Possible side effects include redness, itching, or swelling at the injection site. And rare cases of tiredness and drowsiness can happen. As always, you should tell your healthcare provider about any side effects that you think that you may be experiencing with TB500. You can always find out more information at peptides.com, that's peptides without the D, where we're tying all the peptide information together for you in one easy place. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. And if you love what you've heard, please share it with your friends and family on social media and subscribe to our podcast. Have a happy, healthy week.